All right, everything is plugged in and I'm going to turn on the power bank. Little LEDs come on, the Raspberry Pi screen fires up, and it goes through the boot process. I've got Rune Audio installed, um, and it logs me in automatically. And uh, I have plugged in the, the barrel jack. 3.5 millimeter plug-in to the corresponding input that's the adapter that goes to the RCA plugs on the um, the audio card here and I turned on the speaker and turned on a song played a song get this going again so the time is on the volume is up and the, the speaker wouldn't work so the speaker wouldn't work I mean it's all relative the sound card is power is getting power there's a green light here too but I've only ever seen the red light come on and maybe once the green light came on for some unknown reason whatever the case I did plug in the speaker to the Raspberry Pi's headphone jack and I did get sound coming to my speaker via the Raspberry Pi's output 3.5 mil audio jack however I'm not getting output on here and it's not my the Raspberry Pi is not talking to the, the Pi Fi which I don't understand so when I go to the, the settings in the menu here, go to MPD, and I uh, have my audio output interface here, and, and usually they tell me that's where it's located from what I've been reading and looking online at other YouTube videos for Rune Audio, but the sound card is still not registering here. And I'm not, I'm not sure what it is that I'm doing wrong. What needs to be enabled or disabled or is a port have to change? Um, I'm not sure if anybody out there in YouTube land could share some information on this topic with me. I greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I've been doing a ton of research, watching lots of YouTube videos, Raspberry Pi touchscreens and Odd different audio cards that people are making music players with and seemingly getting a positive experience with uh, their installation. Okay. Hi YouTube video viewers. Welcome to my Raspberry Pi touchscreen uh, Pi Fi DAC Plus installation Bluetooth speaker and power bank connection. This here is a uh, 66 uh, milliamp, uh, 100 milliamp um, battery pack for powering up various devices. This is a, a Bluetooth speaker, which I'll be turning on later. However, it is going to be hardwired um, via a uh, 3.5 um headphone jack and the uh, the PiFi Digi uh, or DAC Plus is going to be placed on top of this already connected Raspberry Pi 3 and 7 inch touch screen that is um, getting power uh, from this USB connection down here that is built into the board of the touch screen which is connected to the Raspberry Pi's uh, input power supply so there's also 
an input power uh, jack right there down below the Raspberry Pis but one that goes into the board of the touch screen that one I'll be using um, uh, currently I have been using the power supply from this the GPO IO uh, GPIO pins um, on the Raspberry Pi plugged into the touch screens corresponding um, pin uh, in location for the power which I am actually going I have already been disconnecting and am disconnecting but those pins right there would be used to get power from the Raspberry Pi's board to supply power to the touch screen but I am bypassing this right now because I need access to the um, GPIO header for my um, my DAC here and uh, I'm in the process of mounting this um, piece of hardware so that I can get um, an output what I'm looking for is an output uh, as you see here RCA and log digital I'm not sure of all the specifics but I want an RCA output of two volts supplying um, audio. Any case, uh, I have the 3.5 uh, barrel jack input that I'm going to be using for this Bluetooth speaker. The corresponding plug in here that's going into that. So. Bear with me here as I try to do everything one-handed. Okay, so that is connected, sort of. Hello? Hello? Sorry about that. So, I have plugged in the audio output from the sound card to the Bluetooth speaker although it is hardwired at this point and I will be turning the speaker on momentarily um, but I want to get power going through the Raspberry Pi first I think I'm not sure which order I want to do things and I'm going to be using this uh, 66 mil, 100 milliamp hour uh, power bank that I bought from Staples for 20 bucks and there's a 2.4 amp output don't know if I can see that on here but anyways there's a 2.4 amp output and a 1 amp output on this and I'm using the 2.4 amp output with the micro um, US uh, be standard here and I'm gonna try to attempt to plug it in to the uh, board of the um, of the monitor the touchscreen to feed power to uh, well no not true not feeding power to uh, the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry Pi is getting power all right, so let's get this clear. I'm getting power from the power bank. It's going to feed power to the input of the board on the touch screen. And over here on the same board uh, that is um, attached to the touch screen, there is a USB output power source that I have also connected a cable here going into the power input of the Raspberry Pi board. The um, DAC board is getting power from the GPIO header which is plugged directly into the Raspberry Pi here. So yeah that's all connected and the only thing left I have to do now is take this power cord 
plug it into the um, into the board that the touch screen is connected to and see what happens. Okay, just just some simple little details here. The uh, the board, the uh, the mechanics of the board, the um, hardware. Uh, these RCA jacks are soldered onto the board, and if you can see the tip of the pins of the bottom of the jacks, stand proud of the the circuit board here and on the corresponding location of the Raspberry Pi 3 the HDMI uh, input here uh, is metal and is negatively grounded on the metal surface here and I'm not using uh, standoffs to mount this audio board at this point in time so when I place the audio board on here and the audio board uh, sits on top of the HDMI output here and it makes contact when it drops like that you can hear you can hear the metal on metal so anyways I just took a moment here and I cut a little piece of electrical tape and to the size of the HDMI and all I'm going to do is just take this little piece of electrical tape, place it over top of my HDMI cable, like so, and then replace the uh, DAC on top here. So now, in the future, when it, it drops, I didn't get the pins lined up here. Now in the future, if it does, I'm going to get, I am going to get standoffs for this, but when this board drops like that, it's only going to make contact with the electrical tape and the electrical contacts from the RCA cables that are standing proud of this board. Just a small little detail. Okay, moving on. Okay, just a little quick recap here. Power bank connected to to power supply input of LC, LCD board LCD board output power going to input power of Raspberry Pi 3 DAC plugged into GPO IO sorry and uh, powered and uh, connected. Bluetooth speaker currently hardwired three and a half inch uh, barrel jack, uh, 3.5 millimeter barrel jack connection, stereo plugged uh, into uh, our, our, an adapter I guess, an adapt adapter cable that goes from 3.5 in uh, 3.5 mil to RCA and uh, a 50, uh, 60, 600 um, milliamp hour power bank from Staples output 2.4 amps and I'm just getting ready to fire this up. <laughs> 